Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. Good morning and welcome to Bind Us Together. I'm Pastor Peg Harvey Moroz the pastor of Grace Evangelical Lutheran Church in Lewiston, Idaho, and the pastor of Genesee Lutheran Parish in Genesee, Idaho. We began Bind Us Together back in March 2020, when we were first on stay-at-home orders, as a way to remind us that though we were physically distanced, that we were not alone. God is always with us. God is always loving us. God will never abandon us. We are the body of Christ. We are connected through the communion of saints. We are not alone. This day is Good Friday. It is the day that we remember the suffering, crucifixion, and death of Jesus. And the readings that we have been doing during this week for our daily devotions have been from uh, the Revised Common Lectionary. And again, today we read from John chapter 19, starting with verse 25b. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It is the practice on Good Friday that when we read the story of Jesus' death, that the candles are extinguished. And so that's what I have just done. What really needs to be said? This is a, a horrific day. This was a horrific day. He's concerned as he hangs on the cross. He's concerned for his mother. He turns uh, to the beloved disciple whose name we don't know. We don't know who he was. Uh, there are some theories, but we don't know. But someone who understood what was happening. And uh, because women had no... Um, ability to care for them or no power to care for themselves, earn a living, et cetera, et cetera. They needed a man in that particular society. Um, and uh, Joseph was older than Mary, so he's undoubtedly, though it's never recorded, that he's dead by this point. And uh, Jesus, uh, the oldest son, is responsible for his mother, so he, he 
gives over responsibility to this um, beloved disciple. And they, they give him sour wine. I'm not sure what the sour wine is all about, um, but they're not helping him. This is not help. Um, and then he dies. It is finished. And he gives up his spirit. So on this day, we remember the death of Jesus. Uh, we also remember the deaths of, of our loved ones, suffering. I mean, this is, this is a day just to kind of pour ourselves into grieving and, um, and the sorrow of of losing loved ones, of facing uh, suffering, and um, not much else needs to be said on this day. Oh, the song, I forgot. I'm always forgetting the song. <clears throat> Were you there? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, Tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, on this day, we hear again the story of your son dying on the cross for us. Lord, we grieve this suffering. We grieve our need for this suffering. We also pray for all who have lost loved ones, we pray for those who are struggling with grief, those who are struggling with suffering. We are especially mindful of those who are dealing with COVID-19. And we pray that you comfort them and strengthen them. Lord, we pray for those who are dying this day. All of these things we lift up to you, trusting in your mercy, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. My friends, thank you for being here today. And may this Good Friday be a blessing to you. May you draw closer to God because of what Christ has done for all of us. Remember, be kind, wash your hands, stay at home if you don't need to go out. Remember your neighbors, share the good news. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.